Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we're back trying brand new American goodies. It's just even more awesome when they're brand new, isn't it? Yeah. And you're like, not that many people maybe have tried these. Yes, that's true. And so it's like really cool. That's the thing, we love trying all snacks from around the world, but yeah. when they had that little new label on them, it's yeah. just even more exciting, isn't it? Part of the team now, yeah. we're like the brand new. Yeah, speaking of team, my sister picked this up from a thrift store here in the UK. Um, I think, you know, some of you might know what this is. Sabres, what's it say? Sabres. Shut, shut up. St. Mary's. Mary's. Cause Shattuck, Saint last Mary's. time I wore my Cougars top, a yeah. lot of you were like that uni is like so close to us. Oh, is that what your Cougars top is? That's what I my thought Cougars it's because you've got a young boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he made me out like I'm a really young. He's not that young. <laughs> no, he's only two school years. <laughs> no, he's one school oh, year. Oh, one, one school, school year. <laughs> two real years. <laughs> anyway, do let me know because obviously we're here in the UK buying yeah. these tops from um, the thrift store. And actually, sometimes these are people's actually like university oh, yeah. jumpers and stuff. So let me know if you know where this is because I'd like to know. Well, I saw a TikTok the other day and it was this girl basically putting on all the university outfits she had. No. America is the only place in the world where you're so obsessed with where you went yeah, to university you've got, like, the merch. that you have merch. Yeah. Like, I don't have merch from the school I went to, you know, no. and I definitely don't wear it now. No, but that I think that's awesome though. The closest like, thing is like my PE kit. Well, actually, from secondary school, Holes has her netball team hoodie and it's really cool she yeah, wears that. Cool, yeah. But yeah, I know. I, I think it's awesome. Like, like, the team pride is amazing. So yeah, we just didn't really have that. We had like our graduates hoodie. I, I never really wear that because if I have it on the back, you just tell how old I am. <laughs> anyway, onto the box. This is another wonderful box from Lindsay Adam. Chase and Peyton. Thank you so much. If you have missed their first video, we'll leave a link up there. We were trying lots of Easter goodies, Easter which stuff, was delicious. Yeah, delicious. So just to recap, Lindsay, um, she has sent us a box two and a half years ago, believe yeah. it or not, and she wanted to send us some more. She also subscribed to our own candy box, which was amazing, and yeah, had really boxes cool. from us for about a year. So if anyone else would like to try some of our British treats, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's a great way to support the channel and like Lindsay, get a box sent to your house every month. Yeah, so Lindsay, we will be sending you a box back as a thank you. And like Lindsay here, we often put new items in our candy box yeah. as well. So if you want some brand new British things, definitely subscribe to our candy box. Okay, right, Al. I'm it's... excited because there's so much savory here as well. It, there is so much savory. I feel savory. like the last few boxes we've had, there hasn't been yeah, loads of savory. Yeah, there have been a lot of sweets, haven't they? And do you know what's even more exciting? What? There's Snyders. a brand new Snyder. Shall we start there? Yes, I think so. What have we got, Al? We've got Snyder's Twisted Pretzel Sticks Nacho Cheese. They're nacho cheese, they're my cheese. They're mine! They're mine. It's funny. I wonder what makes Snyder's think, let's go twisted or let's go pieces. They're twisted in the brain. Because obviously it like holds them differently. It does, yeah. It says try. big flavour. And we know when Snyder's say big flavour, they mean it. Crispy <laughs> crunch, set your taste buds spinning. Snyder's of a Hanover, twisted pretzel bites. A light crispy pretzels with big craveable flavour. I'm so excited. A delicious twist to snack time. Uh, Lindsay says, this is a brand new flavour and haven't had the chance to try them yet. We prefer the pieces over the twist that we have tried so far. Funny I just said that. So yeah. Lindsay's family, a team, um, pieces, what are you guys? I kind of feel like I might be pieces. Yeah, but... maybe just because they're like thicker and aren't they really like absorb the flavour yeah. all round. But, but we'll then if you don't like pretzels where they almost like dry your mouth out, but these are probably better. Yeah, maybe. I'm nacho so cheese. Have we had the nacho cheese flavour pretzel before? I don't think so. Have we had cheese? Yeah, we've had cheese. Have you ever had nacho snuff? cheese? No. Oh, this is my buttery, buttery oh. biscuit well, base. In some ways, I think that's the best bit about Snyder's isn't actually the flavouring a lot of the time. It's the butter. It's the butter flavour. Mm, absolutely amazing. So guys, as these are brand new, do let us know down below, have you tried any of these mm. items yet? And uh, if not, what are you playing at? Go out to the shops, buy all these and try them with us. Oh, they're really orange. They really are big flavour. Oh my god, my whole side of my face is like freaking out right now. Isn't that flavour so strong? How would they get it so strong? Snyder's definitely have the most flavour on something than ever. Yeah. Any other brand. You know what I mean? Like a crisp has never been this flavour for. punchy, yeah. Yeah, punchy, that's why. I think the twists work well with this flavour. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd want this flavour on, on the pieces. Maybe I would, but I don't think so. Now, would you say this was nacho cheese? I would definitely say would this you? is nacho cheese, yeah. I'm kind of just tasting like butteriness 
which is amazing. I'm getting that same butteriness, but there is nacho cheese flavor there. It's salty, it's kind of sweet, and it's a whole lot of delicious. Mm. Oh, these are 25 out of 10. I'm gonna go 12 out of 10. Okay. Because the original so, are 25 out of 10. They're incredible. These aren't as good as the honey mustard. And I love the honey mustard, but there is something about this whole like twist and this flavor. Are you loving it now? I'm absolutely loving it. What do you mean loving it now? I've loved it since the moment it touched my tongue. <laughs> oh, those are dangerous. Do you know why I'm giving those 25 out of 10? Why? Because I absolutely love the honey mustard and they probably still are 25 out of 10 as well. Mm. But I feel like I could eat a whole bag of those, a portion bag. Whereas the honey mustard, it's powerful, isn't it? That flavor. I think this is more powerful. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, but that honey mustard is really like, oh, my breath at the end. Like, and everyone's just dying out there. Why I prefer the honey mustard is because they're like oily. I love yeah, the oiliness. Love Whereas these are like- they're probably more tangy actually, aren't yeah. they? Whereas these are more powdery. I love that. Which I, I really like, that. but I prefer the oiliness because you don't often get that. That almost tastes like, you know, when we've had like popcorn seasoning. Yeah. I love that powderiness and that's what I'm getting there. So I'm just gonna go one more time. No, I really want You're to, not. but I'm gonna oh. enjoy it because I've now just cleansed my palate. I'm mm. gonna have to do that whole thing again. So I'm not going to because- oh. I'm excited for the nose. They're amazing, aren't they? They're so good. Do you know what? After trying the Dots Southwestern oh, yeah. Southwest or something, Ranch. I think I think Snyder's are top and then Dots because Dots, my favourite flavour, are the kind of original. Original, yeah. And then the Southwestern were okay, whereas like Snyder's have so many yeah. consistent bags. Like the sour cream and onion or chive, oh, do you remember? Yeah. I forgot about that. We haven't had those And then there was ages. a Parmesan one as well, oh, which was really yeah. good. Yeah, delicious. Okay, shall we go Chex Mix next? It's always yeah, an exciting not? day when we have Chex Mix. Haven't tried this yet, and this is also on the newer side, so hopefully it's a good cheddar flavour. White cheddar. I mean, it's good on popcorn, so why, why I, not I good actually on think mix? white cheddar, for me, beats cheddar. You know, when we've had them on other things before, like the smart popcorn mm. and stuff like that, I absolutely love white cheddar and I love Chex Mix, so I'm so excited for these. I don't know what the difference is between white cheddar and just cheddar, but white cheddar just somehow is better, nice isn't flavor. it? How funny, the others didn't say this, but it actually tells you in big form, we've got corn Chex. Brown pretzel. Rye chip. Wheat Chex. Square pretzel. <laughs> Squiggle breadstick. breadstick. How cute is How that? Fun. They don't look like they have any flavor on. No, but I think because it's white cheddar it could be deceiving smell they don't smell like white no. cheddar no they don't smell or look like white cheddar they look kind of just plain mm. don't they okay get a handful the rye chips are always my favorite really yeah i love them i didn't expect that from you oh, i love these they're brown i would have thought you'd think they're healthy <laughs> They are. It's funny how different it tastes on each thing. I don't know if it's just after the um, the nacho cheese Snyder's, but I'm a little bit disappointed by I that am. flavor. I am. It almost tastes milky. Also, I'm not enjoying the rye crisps there. No. My favorite one in here today in this flavor is the um, corn checks. It works well on there. That tastes weird. I wonder if it is after the Snyder's. Maybe, Maybe. we can come back to it later. That's not white cheddar. No. That's not the white cheddar I was hoping for. Hmm. No, you're not really enjoying that. Disappointed with those, because I love Chex Mix and mm. I love white cheddar. Let us know what you thought down below. We have got two new bags of Lay's. Now these look exciting, exciting. to me. Look at these. I love the branding as well because I feel like this is total new branding as well. I've never really seen this yeah. from Lay's before. So what's the Lay's Lay's about? Lay's. So we've got three cheese flavored and sour cream and onion flavored. Both new, this is exciting. Crispy layered potato bites. These are on the newer side and I've only had the sour cream and onion. I bought both but the cheese were eaten before I could try them. So I'm going to assume that means they're good. <laughs> Obviously, uh, everyone in the family were eating yeah. them. Yeah, these are really interesting looking. Oh, let's see yours. They're kind of like puffy. In some in ways, layers. you know that Chex Mix cereal yeah. bit? It almost like looks that, like that. Up. Yeah. I wonder how hard that process is. And if it costs them more to do this. I love the texture. It's a bit like the popper balls. Yes, Who's it is. These popper balls. Lays, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is Lays. How's your flavor? Really good flavor. These are delicious, but the flavor's quite light. Lovely. But I don't know if it's because the Snyders have really taken <laughs> our taste buds. Mm. Oh, these have got a lovely cheesy flavor. Mm. Bite-sized layers, crispy layers, tasty layers. 
This is looking like it's Parmesan cheese, Gouda. I feel like it can definitely taste Gouda. Cheddar. That's nice. This is much not lighter in flavor. It is, isn't it? But really lovely. Mm. Are you going cheese or sour cream and onion, number one? I'm going cheese. Three cheese. I can't decide. No, I'm going three cheese. The flavors aren't necessarily what I was expecting, especially as We've had like cheese from Lay's before and like sour cream and onion. But what I really love about these is the shape, the layers and the mm. texture. That for me wins it. I definitely prefer the three cheese. The sour cream and onion are probably just slightly less for me. But as you say, it's the texture and the crunch that is so good. It's yeah. almost like a quaver. It is. But instead of it just being like a big open scoop that you crunch down, it's like a quaver that's like whipped well, over on itself. Sometimes there are quavers mm. that are like rolled Spirals, and that's like yeah. that, isn't it? Yeah. And you know what? I think I might even prefer these to the popper board. Ooh. Because I like the fact that there's multiple layers, whereas the popper board is just like it's just one like, big mesh and, and then it's like gone through. through. I really hope that there's more flavors of these and I wonder if they would do the same flavor of the popper balls because mm. they've got like ranch or honey barbecue or, barbecue or something. Would be nice, barbecue yeah. would be lovely in this. I really enjoyed them. They're really delicious. I just the flavours aren't quite what I pictured Lay's to be. Do you know what I mean? No, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I wonder if that's because they're under this like different kind of yeah. guise. But I'd definitely say they were a win. What are you giving them out of 10? I'm going to give the three cheese 10 out of 10. I'm going to give the uh, sour cream and onion a nine. I'll probably give the three cheese nine and those sour cream eight. Okay. But the texture, I'm giving 10 out of 10. It okay. was absolutely amazing. Now we're on to sweets and a little bit of snack. Should we go for these Hershey's Kisses things? Yes, why not? This is really interesting. Is it actually going to be in a little mini ice cream cone? No, I think it's in a kiss, isn't it? Strawberry flavoured cream and cookie with other natural flavours. These are limited summertime edition. Mm, nice oh, look, and this bang. is good. Strawberry ice cream cups. That's cool. Maybe, no, let's go for maybe it. Maybe it'll be okay because it's not milk chocolate. Well, do you not remember? Our favourite um, Hershey's was the gold bar. And then the white cookies and cream was our like second. Take your word for it. I think we might like these. It's such a shame, isn't it? that we don't like the milk ones because I mean, they're so it's nicely cool... presented. Let's see. Them. That smells really lovely actually. I think these are gonna be good. That... These are a seasonal item that came out for the first time last year. Haven't had these, but have heard they really do taste like strawberry ice cream. Mm. Well, there we go. I just wish there was like a little cone around oh. them. What were they called? Muddy Bites. Oh, they were. Yeah, it must take so much time to put them in one of these. And they're no, so they much won't. bigger It'll than I It'll be literally remember. a machine. Yeah, these are always so much bigger than I expect. Yeah. Cheers. And um, much more like my nipples than I realise. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling everyone what your nipples look yeah, like. Like this. Oh, sorry. Boom, boom, boom. Pew. Cheers. They taste a bit sherbetty. You haven't tasted it yet. It smelled a bit sherbetty. You think? That works. Best Hershey's we've that had? That really works. That's the best Hershey's mm -hmm. we've had. I don't just pick on Hershey's because I don't like Hershey's. It's because I don't like their milk chocolate. But when they do something good, I will say they did something good. Oh, yeah. And that is really good. These are delicious. And they don't have that. I'm not going to mention it. Yeah. Aftertaste. I think that aftertaste must just be in the milk, the chocolate, milk chocolate. yeah. Because we haven't had it in the white ones, have we? No. Or that or gold, gold bar. Do you want to share one more? Yes. Half. That was absolutely delicious. And I love you get the little crunch. Oh, this is actually The crunches are nice. The crunch of the cone on the inside. Yeah. Is there a crunch of like strawberry as well? Mm, yeah, look. It's like freeze dried. Okay. Strawberry bits. This is what it tastes like. What? McVitie's have a yogurt corner. Oh, yeah. Muller, Muller. Muller. McVitie's. <laughs> I think it's. <laughs> They're the biscuit people. Yeah, I know, but there's a strawberry shortcake one. Oh, yeah. And the, I, and the yogurt strawberry mm. and the bits are. I hear you. Mm. This is actually really good. A really lovely, like, summer flavour, isn't mm -hmm. it? These are the ones you should get and take home to your friends. Say it with They're a They're delicious. The strawberry flavor is wonderful. The chocolate does melt in your mouth, which we often find missing sometimes yeah. from American chocolate. This, I would say, is the best Hershey's we've ever had. For all of the Hershey bars I've had, I'm going 10 out of 10 for yeah, this. Yeah, 10 out of 10. It does taste like a strawberry drizzle that you have on an ice cream, does, at, like an it? ice cream parlor. Yeah, like mm. over a strawberry ice cream sundae, sundae. or something. Yeah, That was really, really good. I also like the color of the packaging. The pink's yeah. nice. I really like the packaging. It's lovely. Yeah, that's a win. Well done, Hershey's. Yeah, because sometimes Hershey's branding can be look a bit dated, yeah, I think. Yeah, but that, I Whereas really this actually good. looks quite modern and yeah. fresh and nice. That was delicious. Delicious. Oreo Cakesters. These came out years ago and they just re-released oh. them after being gone for about 10 years. Oh, oh so they are new. 
I used to love them when they first came out, and while the cream is as good as I remember, the cake portion isn't as good. Uh. Not sure if they've changed it from the original or if my tastes have changed. They also have a nutter butter version, but I couldn't find them. Interesting. Yeah. But also, I think sometimes, because I've tasted things again that have come back, yeah. and sometimes I'm like, oh, that's not as good as I remember. But sometimes, because it's been a long time, have you almost made it even better in yeah. your head? You've had the rose tinted glasses yeah. on. But I am so excited. Lindsay, when I saw this in your box, I literally screamed. So exciting. Soft baked Oreo cakesters. I'm really hoping this is good. Me too. It's like a whoopie pie. It is, isn't it? Or like a, a cold ice, ice cream, cream sandwich. sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a whoopie pie, isn't it? it? Smells good. Cheers. It is cakey, that. And that icing is so sweet and lovely. How nice is the texture? Really good texture. Mm. I was thinking it is what's partly nice about an Oreo, the crunch. Mm. But actually this soft cakey outside is really good. Does this not taste like something we've had? from either Hostess, mm. Little Debbie's. Yeah, it does. It's Entenmann's. Like a, yeah, that is good. Almost like the oatmeal pie or something. Mm. I think it's good. It's hard for us to say. Maybe 10 years ago it did taste better, mm -hmm. but I think it's got enough of the mix of the taste of like the chocolate biscuit from the Oreo in sponge form, and then that lovely creamy icing in the middle yeah. that makes it. The thing is, we've not tried one before. So for my first experience, yeah. that was pretty wonderful. Pretty epic. It almost tastes like when you get a cake pop. It wasn't like a cake where you look and you see like little sponges. Yeah. It was quite like dense. Quite dense. More brownie and quite cake. moist. I love that. And I would the definitely kind of thing go for that If you just again. squeezed it, it'd really like glob together. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm. What are you giving that out of 10? I'm going to give it a nine out of 10. I think it's I'll give it nine really, out of 10 as really well. Really good. What I would like is a golden version. That would be Will good. Will they offer that? That really would taste like a um, ice cream sandwich. Okay, we've got three more things out. What would you like to try? I'm quite excited to try these Sour Patch Kids grapes. I am too, because you know how we always have Sour Patch? Mm. and they're the little people and then we've had like the strawberries and the watermelon yeah. these are little cute bunches of grapes oh <laughs> new not, not so, so sour. sour oh yeah because these aren't sour smell them wow these are included because one of chase's favorite candies is sour patch kids and this is the newest flavor these are not so sour grape and they taste good but I felt like they were missing something. I think I'm so used to anything covered in sugar being sour that I was still expecting them to be, even though they say they're not, not sour. So sour. Mm. I wonder why they decided to go not so sour because I never thought they were that sour, Sour Patch no. Kids. Uh, Chase, thank you for including these for us. Yeah, thanks for the recommendation. I love that they're in a little grape. I get what she means. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Because you're expecting a sour hit. It's almost leading you to think there's going to be a sour hit next. Yeah. But there isn't. And it's funny because I never taste a Sour Patch Kid and actually think they are that sour. No. But when you haven't got the sourness... <laughs> Lindsay's right. It's like there's something missing. Mm, it's still very delicious. Mm. Mm. It's still got a bit of sourness. Yeah. But that's what I mean. It's like... It's like a little ting on your tongue, mm. like there's gonna be sour mm. and it never happens. What do you mm. think of the flavor though? I love the flavor. Mm. The flavor's lovely. It really tastes like one of the great juices we've mm. had. I really like them. I wonder if they will do a bag of great but normal sourness. Mm. I like that. And I feel like that probably has done really well. Yeah. I feel like Americans really enjoy great. Okay, we're down to two things. Shall we do sweet tarts? Because yeah. you enjoy these. Yeah, I just love the way they come packaged. It's so cool, isn't it? Just no one else packaged like this, do they? Like a flat package. It must use up so much shelf so space. Much, and so much more It's like plastic. a massive advert. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like well. a massive advert. So this is a first. I don't think we've had two no. flavours in one. Watermelon berry collision. collision which is very exciting. Soft this and chewy. This is a family favourite and the newest flavour and I think one of the only ones you haven't tried yet. No, we haven't tried these. Ooh! Is it wider? Because it seems it's wider, two, doesn't it? Because it's two flavours, it seems like bigger. And I love these ones with the uh, stuff in the middle. Wowzers. That's lovely. And I always forget every time. And I even said to myself, it's a sweet tart. It's, it's really sweet tart. tart, yeah. Mm. Does the outside taste chewier? I don't think so. No. I feel like it's chewier. Really? Mmm. Mm. Right, out of the ones we've tried, where's that going? I think this is top. I think it's top as well. These are lovely. Mm. Absolutely lovely. They could be the best flavour we've ever had. I think so. Or the best combination of flavours we've ever had. 
that's the thing. I think it works well that it's two flavors. Yeah. Well, I think if it was watermelon on its own, it might be a bit berry on its own. I love that it's a mix. Yeah, I just love the kind of extra flavour the berries bring to the watermelon. Although, my first bite was really strong cherry, and I was like, oh. Really? Yeah, there's a cherry in there. I didn't think cherry was a berry. Get out. Cherry berry. A, a berry is like a raspberry, yeah. a blueberry, I a blackberry, saying, yeah. but not is, a cherry berry. Is cherry <laughs> yeah, but is cherry technically a berry because no. it's like a small round fruit? on a stalk, no. and that's what all the others are. No. Still no. <laughs> uh, are blackberries aren't on stalks, are they? Well, I suppose they grow off of. Yeah. But anyway, the only downfall is I wish there wasn't so much cherry in there, but I know a lot of Americans enjoy cherry, yeah. so that's probably it's... very warm welcome. Yeah, well, it didn't bother me, really, the cherry flavor, actually. Um, I, yeah, I thought they were delicious. Sorry, yeah. can I just get these yeah. all out? Woohoo! It looks a bit like rhubarb. Cool. If you that's put really them down cute. and you like rolling pin oh, them no. out. See, so smell there. That's really strong cherry. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> luck thankfully, like when I carried on, it wasn't just all cherry. <laughs> looks you like can do a pencil so much that. Like that. I quite like that it's all stuck together. Stuck together. It looks like rhubarb on the other side. I know, it does, doesn't it? How funny. What, what an interesting thing. I do think out of some of the sweet tart things we've had, these ropes have been my favourite. Yeah. Okay, last but not least. I'm surprised you saved these for last time. Yeah, that's the last. Well, Swedish fish and friends. Right. What is even cuter? Swedish fish have now got friends. Yeah. Dolphin, turtles, and I think... What's not to like? They're different colours, so are they different flavours? Oh! <gasps> <sighs> oh! My word, the turtles are watermelon and the dolphin are strawberry. And then we all know that a Swedish fish is a raspberry, right? Do we? They're still playing on it. They don't label they it. They don't label it, yeah. Swedish fish love, loves the ocean. Meet our two new endangered friends, the green sea turtle and the Amazon river dolphin. I really like what they're trying to do here because they're making kids aware that these are endangered. Yeah. and it might help people start looking into it. But is it. that all they're doing though? These are brand new and were so hard to find. Thank you, Lindsay, for putting in <gasps> the hard you, work. Lindsay. We really appreciate it. But I had to track them down since I know Kate loves Swedish fish and they're also a family favorite. The turtles are delicious, but I wish they were the mini ones as I prefer the texture or chew over the big ones. Oh yes, because aren't there mini Swedish fish? Yes, well, this is exciting. Thank you so much for tracking these down. <laughs> I'm excited. I had a Swedish fish the other day for the first time in ages. It yeah, was so good. Yeah, we hadn't had Swedish fish no. very good. And I think they were the little ones, weren't they? And I think you're right. The little ones are better. Oh, were Ooh, they not this fun. size? Oh, yeah. They seem softer than that, didn't they? Well, what's the mix like? Oh, you get a lot of um, the turtle fella. Yeah, the turtles. It's mainly turtles so far. Yeah. Hardly any dolphins. Four dolphins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Swedish fish. And... You wouldn't think these are endangered, would you? You've got loads of them. 13. 13. Yeah. They're not endangered in this packet. No. <laughs> okay. Cheers, Al. Oh, that's got a lovely bite to it. <laughs> what a lovely bite. I thought you were doing a dance with you. <laughs> what a lovely bite. Mm. And really lovely watermelon flavour. <laughs> Super mellow. Obviously, I know the watermelon flavour is not mm. natural. But it tastes really natural. Mm, I think that's really... one of my favourite watermelon flavours. Mm, it's very close to like what your brain thinks is watermelon. Watermelon. Dolphin. Dolphin. These are endangered, only four in the pack. Mm -hmm. Very light strawberry flavour, isn't it? Phenomenal. Do you remember Swedish Fish had another bag called Tropical Mix? Mm. And we really, really enjoyed them. Yeah, they were lovely. Because obviously, I love Swedish Fish, but like having a whole packet of the same flavours quite a lot. Yeah. So I'm really enjoying the mix of just three in this packet. Yeah. And then I think the Tropical Mix had more. What do you think to those then, Al? I really like them. Such great additional flavours. Yeah. I mean, adding watermelon and strawberry. Like, what, great, what more it? could you ask for? I love the Tropical Fish and I love the originals. But I think if I had to pick out of the three, I'll be going for this bag. Because oh, the flavours are my favourite. Because I think in the tropical mix, I loved all flavours, but there was like a flavour that wasn't my yeah. favourite. Whereas I love every single one of these. Yeah, I love the Swedish fish flavour. Yep. Love strawberry and yep. love the watermelon. Oh. So what's not to like? 10 out of 10. It's definitely 10 Absolutely out of 10. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Thank you so much for trying to track these down for us. It was so worth it. Oh, we'll have to save. Holly's not here at the moment, but we'll have to save some for her because yeah, she definitely. loves Swedish 
fish, doesn't she? A five, six, seven, eight. Dun, dun. Tree of the week. <sighs> it's going to be tricky. It is. This is a tricky one. I think my treat of the week is going to have to be the Snyders of Hanover. Nacho cheese, which I I'm going like, to have to have a couple though, of now. Because we had quite a lot of savouries and mm. sweets, do you want to pick a sweet as well? Because okay. I feel like we've, we've tried some really well, good stuff today. what's your savoury? My savoury is also the Snyders. They are absolutely amazing. Okay, if I'm going to pick a sweet as well, it is hard, <laughs> but I'm going to give it to this. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> you were going for the I almost spilled all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I would have eaten them off the more. Oh, they really get my jaw going at first. I'm going savoury as the Snyder's mm. and the sweet as the Swedish fish. This has been such a wonderful one. I'm going to give it? an honourable mention, though, to the Sour oh. Patch Kids grape. I really I like you were going to go to the watermelon sweet tarts. You love those good, as well. I think I prefer these. This has been a really mm. good box. Oh, and don't forget the Hershey's Kisses. I feel like sometimes when companies bring out new products, it's really exciting and like you have your hopes up really yeah. high. But quite often, some of the new things have been a bit disappointing. Not, mm. I'm not saying in America, I just mean even here in England, some of yeah. the newer items, it's like, you've gone too far or whatever. I would say all of these are a success. Yeah, all of these they are really good. They were absolutely delicious. That was absolutely phenomenal. So Lindsay good. Adam. Chase and Peyton. Thank you so much for putting together such a delicious box. And yeah. the crazy thing is we even have mm. another box from them. Really? Yeah, so I managed to split it off into three groups. Well, that's cool. So we've got more snacks for them to come. If you don't want to miss out on that video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Um, Lindsay, we will be sending you and your family a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some of our British treats, we'll leave a link down below. And if you sign up to one of our subscription boxes, that is the best way for you guys to try the latest brand new British yep. treats as well. And it also helps out the channel. It definitely does. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that. If you haven't tried any of these items yet get down to your shop because they are delicious and amazing yeah and if you have let us know what you thought in the comments yeah we hope you guys have a great week and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya